have a big story about a lady called Jennifer uh, Alote, and she's 24 years old, and she suffers from cerebral palsy, and she wants to become a fashion designer. So despite not getting admission to any vocational school, she has applied to, with the help of her twin sister, Jennifer, she is now weaving beads at home. Here's a report by Joseph Armstrong. Jennifer Alote lives in Dansuman in Ablukma West Municipality. The 24-year-old, despite not being to school, exhibits a strong sense of self-confidence. She is able to read and speak English. Jennifer was born a twin. Her twin sister, Juan Alote, is an SHS graduate. I went to senior senior high school and completed my SS there. Juan says her sister's condition is really affecting her. So as our grandma was talking with her, but sometimes she will go and lock us in the room. We don't play outside. We are always in the room. When our dad comes to, he beats us and doesn't even feel pity for us. We calling us all sorts of names and resulting us. She wished her sister could enroll in school to enable her to fulfill her dreams. Whenever I see twins working together, I wish she's always with me. So because of her, I don't really go out. I don't go to places. I'm always with her. Even when everyone goes out, I have to be with her. When she speaks, I'm the only one who hears. It's no one around hears. Jennifer and John's mother said, they discovered Jennifer's cerebral palsy condition when they turned two years. She says she has visited a number of hospitals, but to no avail. The time that I'm going to birth, and I went to Polyclinic, they said they transferred me to Kolebu. At that place, cry, they say the child is one, but the child is big. So when I deliver the first one, then they take care to ward. Before the another nurse came, Madam Avi I said yes, so then let him dress for you so you go to work. So that nurse come and identify that there's another one day. Because they said this one has kept long. She, 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 she even couldn't cry. So they ran and take her to the incubator. She added, all attempts to send Jennifer to school proved unsuccessful as those schools were not willing to accept her. Professor Dr. Ebenezer Bedu is a consultant pediatrician. Twins typically will share a, a normal circulation inside. So if, for instance, the blood supply is compromised in a very small way, cut off in a part of the brain of one twin, then that's it. We also have what we call twin-to-twin -twin transfusion. That can happen. And so um, in a child who maybe, I don't know what the background is, whether there was a bit of fetal distress, a baby either stuck or coming out a bit delayed, a bit of delay in oxygen supply, but more typically to do with the blood supply. He advised mothers on what to do to limit the risk of having babies with cerebral palsy. We that we look after children, our first concern is of course this vulnerable baby that you brought to the world. So your considerations are now secondary. What is, do we think is wrong with the baby? If we think the babies are at risk of developing significant jaundice which can lead to this problem then like you are saying even though you do not see that the baby is yellow we will say the baby needs to go under lights and as you go right now to our emergency room you will go and see probably eight to ten babies under lights right now every day there are babies under lights they need it so jennifer here is a lover of gospel songs and she cannot let us go until she blesses us with at least one or two gospel songs. Let's uh, listen to her now and see what she has for us. 